Hi guys. Catherine Santiago. Hi. Gabriel. Hi. Hello, teacher. Hi. How are you? Doing great. Give me one second because I'm using my data, my phone's data. Hold on, let me see if I can change. Oh yeah, it's working. Awesome. You're not gonna get any interruption. How's everything, guys? How do you feel? Are you happy that you finished? Yeah. You yes. Got your diploma. Yes. All excited. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Right for a Thank month you. of studying, and many more to come. Hopefully. Can you the microphone, guys? I hear somebody's having issues with the internet. All right, thank you. Hi, Sergio. I can hear it. Hi, Sergio. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Orlando, it was about time. You didn't show up all week. I think I didn't notice. I noticed. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Kelly, everyone. All right. Um, let me share my screen. You're going to see Maribel Guardia, I think. Hold on. Yeah. There's Maribel Guardia. <laughs> the thing is, we're going to talk about... It's an uh, actress. It's an uh, Yeah, the thing is, she's 64 years old, I think, right? 64. And she looks like this. Oh, my goodness. Uh-huh. She kind of looks old already. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, 64, look. I look older than you. No, no. Okay. <laughs> so we were saying aging is one of the topics. Aging is getting old. That's one of the topics I want us to practice. Okay. So I wanted to share with you some of the tools that you can use once you finish your platform. Okay. Because that's the most important thing, you know. And after you're in class. That's number two, you have to be in class. I also recommend some other websites and apps for you to improve your English, okay? This is to work on your listening. If you want okay. to, I'm gonna send you the link. I'm gonna send all this information to WhatsApp anyway. Yes. So I want you to have it, right? But I want to show you how to use the tools, right? You can practice with this, you can practice vocabulary, expressions, idioms, listening, and also speaking, believe it or not. So let's see. You have to study English every day of your life, guys. Seriously. You can never stop. Because as soon as you stop, you lose a lot of it. Imagine, I'm going to use intermediate. All right. So look, pay attention, guys. So I go to the main website, esllab.com. Then I click on intermediate, for example, your quizzes. I'm going to go to the first quiz, and we're talking about a student credit card. So imagine you're going to get vocabulary about credit cards, loans, things you do at the bank. Okay. Oh, look up. Here you have some idioms, though. What's the meaning of though? What's the meaning of dough, guys? Money. Money. It's informal. Pretty informal. So if you ever hear you have some dough, it's money. It's, okay. Have money to burn means you have a lot of money to spend. Okay. Then you can practice your listening by choosing the multiple choice. For example, we're going to do the first one. They're not going to say specifically the same. They're going to say something different and you need to understand the idea. All right. Listen. But guys, remember, first thing, finish the platform. Second, be in class. Third, use any other tools out there on the internet. Okay. Hi, sis. I just came over to drop off the DVDs you wanted and... Hey, wow. Where did you get all this stuff? I bought it. So what do you think of my new entertainment center? And the widescreen TV? Bought it? And my new DVD player. Here, let me show you my stereo. Okay. They haven't said the answer yet. You can really rock the house with this one. But where did you get the dough to buy all this? 
You didn't borrow money from mom and dad again, did you? Of course not. I got it with this. This? Let me see that. Have you been using dad's credit card again? No, silly. It's mine. It's a student credit card. A student credit card? How in the world did you get one of these? I got an application in the mail. Well, why did you get one in the first place? Listen, times are changing, and having a credit card helps you build a credit rating, control spending, and even buy things that you can't pay with cash, like the plane ticket I got recently. What plane ticket? All right, so why did she get a credit card? Uh, she wants she to, to go to credit trading. Uh -huh, exactly, that's the answer. Very good. So, guys, when you finish this, you go down. Right, scroll down. And you can click on for you to practice vocabulary. Okay. You can click on a gap fill exercise. So here you have the dialogue. You can see it. You can see what they're saying. And you simply have to complete it with the word that is missing. All right. Listen. Hi, sis. I just came over to drop off the DVDs you wanted. Okay. What is the word that's missing? Came. Came. Came over. Came. Very good. Okay. And you fill up the gap. So that's going to help your listening. You should do it every day, guys. And then I want you to practice by imitating. Because, guys, use the microphone, please. If you're not saying anything, please mute it because I hear a lot of noise tonight. I don't know why. Maybe, yeah, we're 19. Maybe that's why. But it's awesome having you. I'm not saying it's not. <laughs> Just be careful with the sound. All right, guys. So some people asked me last night and they said, Peter, you have good pronunciation. Did you live in the United States or something? I did live in the United States, but I already spoke English when I was in El Salvador. So I didn't learn anything in the United States. Okay. That means that you can learn from your home. You don't need to go there or anything. Simply by listening and repeating. So try to imitate the accent, the intonation, because there is meaning in that music of the language, right? And try to imitate their pronunciation, everything. So let's listen, and this is what you're gonna do. I'm gonna click it, all right? Pause it, and you have to repeat and try to sound identical as if you were acting in the theater, all right? Imagine you're acting. Don't unmute the microphone, but repeat. Everybody repeat. Okay, ready? Don't... Yes. Hold on, everybody mute the microphone. Okay. Hi, sis. I just came over to drop off the DVDs you wanted. Go ahead. Hi, sis. I just came over to drop off the DVDs you wanted. And everybody repeating. And hey, wow. Where did you get all this stuff? Everybody repeat. Hey, wow. Where did you get all of this stuff? I bought it. So what do you think of my new entertainment center? I bought it. So what do you think of my new entertainment center? And the widescreen TV. And the widescreen TV. Everybody repeat. Repeat. Bought it. And my new DVD player. Here. Bought it. But act, I feel it. <laughs> Let me show you my stereo. You can really rock the house with this one. You can really rock the house with this one. But where did you get the dough to buy all this? But where did you get the dough to buy all of this? You didn't borrow money from mom and dad again, did you? Of course not. You didn't borrow money from mom and dad again, did you? I was floor repeating by drinking at the same time. <laughs> All right, hold on. Um, mm, 
So now I'm gonna allow you to unmute yourself if you need to. So do you think guys, do you think you can use this to practice? It helped me a lot. And in classes we used to repeat all the time, all the time, every day. So to simplify imitating. Um, you think you're gonna be using this? It can help your vocabulary, listening and speaking. Okay. So I'm gonna send you this link and you should do one of these exercises every day. Okay. Who's gonna do that? I will. You will? Awesome. Listen to me guys, if you do this, it's gonna help you a lot. All right. Another way you can do this is by uh, watching series or movies, but simply watching them and listening to them is not gonna help you at all. Okay. You need to imitate them as well. Let me see. Let's imitate this woman. I don't know what she's talking about. Okay, movies, series, videos on YouTube, whatever you want. All right, I want to see a show of hands. How many of you have... Un All right, I want to see a show of hands. You hear that? How many of you have unfriended someone on Facebook, unfriended? Listen. Unfriended someone on Facebook because they said something offensive. How many of you have unfriended somebody on Facebook because they said something offensive about politics or religion? She's going to use that intonation. About politics or religion? Uh -huh. Okay. So you can either do that. You can play it, pause it, repeat, or try to speak at the same time she's doing so. So you go like this. That's one option. You play it and pause it, repeat. But try to keep her, her pace. Okay, like this. see a show of hands how many of you have unfriended someone on Facebook because they said something offensive about politics or religion child care food <laughs> and how many of you know at least one person that you avoid because you just don't want to talk to them all right that's another one but this is more difficult you talk with her at the same time okay so if you watch videos or whatever but you don't repeat that's not helping your fluency at all you have to try to imitate them, okay? So that's my other advice. I know it sounds weird. You probably never saw this technique before, but this is what I did. And this is what I also do with Portuguese, for example. I imitate, that's it, okay? So that's my advice. Take it or leave it, but I think it's gonna help you a lot if you try it, okay? Then I also said I was gonna send you an app for you to practice your um, pronunciation. I'm gonna show you how it works, okay? Let me see. Look, first of all, this is the app. I would like you to practice this week that you're not gonna have classes, okay? This is the app, can you see? Speak English Pro. Yes, I get it. You got it? Okay, and then you click on, well, you tap on practice, here are all the American sounds, all the sounds, okay? You have to click on one of them and you can practice, for example, the Z sound. If you wanna practice Z, maybe some of you would say rise and not rise, okay? So you click on the, you tap on the, the microphone and say something, say rise. Rise. Uh -huh. And it gives you the stars. So if you get five stars, it's because you said it right. So you need to wait. You simply say it and wait. You need to get five stars, okay? So this is interesting. That helps you improve your pronunciation. I'm gonna send you a screenshot of the chat of the, of the app. So you can use it. I wrote this down. Did you wanna ask something before we practice? Oh, then I wanted to show you, if you don't know a word, guys, don't translate the word. Because that's going to make you think in Spanish. Don't translate the word. What you have to do is imagine, what's the meaning of greedy? What is 
What's the meaning of greedy? Like this, greedy. What is it? You don't know? Don't translate the word. I don't know. Don't greedy. tell me the no. word in Spanish. This is what you're gonna do, look. I'm gonna Google greedy, greedy meaning. And it gives you a definition. It says, having an excessive desire or appetite for food. Ah, yeah, that is pretty, I know. Okay. All right, or having or showing an intense and selfish desire for wealth or power. You guys need the microphone, please. Quedamos en la nube siempre, teacher. No, try to understand. You don't need to understand it in, in Spanish. Some words don't even exist in Spanish. But if you want, if you have intense desire for power, or you have intense desire of money, then what you can do is, instead of reading, if you se quedan en las nubes with this, <laughs> if that's the case, you go down and you check a dictionary because we have examples, right? Check the dictionary. But don't translate it, guys. It says wanting a lot more food, money, etc. than you need. Did somebody get the meaning of this already? And that song, yes. That song like seven scenes, capital. It is one of the sins. Greed is one of the sins, you see? But don't try to find it in Spanish because you're never going to stop translating. You're never going to stop thinking in Spanish if you always find the equivalent. Some words don't even exist. Okay, you have some examples. Gabrielle, all right. You greedy pig, you're not having another chocolate biscuit. <laughs> greedy pig. <laughs> it would be greedy to have another slice of cake. He was portrayed as greedy, grasping men. Don't be greedy. It is just greedy to want more money. Is it just greedy to want more money? Like Mr. Crab in SpongeBob SquarePants. He's very greedy. Do you know him? Don Cangrejo. He's greedy. He wants a lot of money all the time, more than he needs. Okay, so that's another advice. You simply have to type the word, okay? You type greedy, and then meaning. And then read the definition or check the examples on one of the dictionaries. Is that clear? Yes. All yes, right. teacher, thank you. Awesome. Thank yes, you. thank you. Okay, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. everything's good. Any other questions? These are questions no. you asked me last night, so I wanted to address them. We should not use the translator. Um, if you want to know, a, if you know a word in Spanish and you want to know it in English, then yes, you can do that. But maybe not the regular translator because sometimes it's not exactly the, the, the word you need. So I would recommend you use this website instead. I think it's Linge. I don't know how you pronounce it. I don't even know what English it is. So here, use this website, not the translator, okay? For example, we're gonna try to find, tell me a word in Spanish that you wanna know in English. I don't know the meaning of this, acknowledge in Spanish. Okay, this is one of the words that doesn't exist in Spanish, acknowledge. Reconocer, agradecer, admitir, saludar. Okay, acknowledge is to simply react to something somebody said. So not only by re recognizing it or admitting it, but it means a lot of things. So this is the next one, linge, however you pronounce that. Mm -hmm. I'll send you that as well, instead of the translator. Okay, but from Spanish to English, from English to Spanish, don't translate. Okay. And then, let me see if this is working. Yeah, it's working. Look, can you see I get an instant definition of it? Did you see that? Accept it. To receive, especially with a consent, with favor, or with approval. Can you see that? You know what I'm using? Mm -hmm. I'm using grammar here. What is the meaning of leader? Any person that leads or dread, an animal that leads? What is the meaning of um, 
Facebook translator. Oh, that's an opening. Yeah. So I use this website. Look, it's Grammarly.com. You have to kind of install it on your computer. So you simply, you don't have to use a dictionary. You simply click on the word and you get a definition instantly. You get it right away. So this is the website, guys, and it's free. Here, Grammarly, you have to make an account with your email. You don't need to pay anything. Okay. You installed it. And then here you can see I have it activated. Look. Grammarly for Chrome, and that's it. So if I ever type a document, a letter, an email, it instantly checks it for me. It tells me whether there is a mistake or not. So that's another one I would recommend you use. And the great thing is that, that you simply click on a word and you get a definition here. So you can use that with a platform as well. You click on the platform, you will get a definition. Okay, anything else? Grammarly.com. Nope. Take advantage of the tools. All right, we have free tools. We don't need to carry the big dictionary like in the past. It was very difficult to study. We have to find things. You don't need that anymore. You simply need your internet and please make an effort. Now we're going to practice in small groups. We're going to be talking about aging. Okay, what's the meaning of aging? Not in Spanish, what's the meaning of it? Aging. Uh -huh. Aging is when you get old. So aging, let's talk about aging. Okay, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you some of the questions and you see. <laughs> Aging is when you get old, don't translate it. No, no, first impression first and then aging. So check what's up. We're gonna practice in small groups of three. Activate the invitation, please. It's ready, there. Jose, are you there? Uh, yeah, the same. I think that uh, meet new people um, is interesting uh, because uh, you know uh, another and you know about them and your your circle of friends you can do more bigger your friend circle you can expand or make bigger excuse me repeat please your friend circle you can make bigger ah uh, okay okay right okay. thank you mm -hmm. and you carlos uh, hey. mm.
Okay, uh, Lida, sorry. Guys, huh? when you're using a verb to begin a sentence, so the verb or the action is the subject of the sentence, you have to use ing, okay? So say, I think having few friends is better. I think smoking is bad. So when the subject of a sentence is a verb, you have to use ing. Okay, smoking okay. is bad, traveling is great, having a little, having few friends is better, right? I am. Okay. Great. I have to use uh, always ing at the end. Yes, if you begin your sentence with a verb. Unless it's imperative, because if I tell you stand up, I don't use ing, but that is the difference. Standing up is great. Stand up is a command. So that's why you have to use ing to make it different. Okay, okay. Yes, yes, about I have the picture. first impression. Yes, yes, I have the, the first impression. Okay. And so when you look at someone, what makes you think they are intelligent? Uh, if the person look at a gentleman, uh, I can think uh, he's intelligent. When? <laughs> Maybe um, um, if that person have a books. <laughs> no, if uh, have a good look of uh, her clothes. If look a uh, good person. Is Miguel participating? He is Miguel. Miguel? Yeah, Miguel is here. Hello. Okay. Have you met someone who do you hate right away even so you didn't know them? Mm, have you met someone? Yes. Se escucha cortado. No Spanish, guys. Mm. It's breaking I... up. It's breaking up. Okay, sorry, Orlando. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> In my case, um, I prefer to meet... Um, to hang out with people that already know because uh, they they feel me uh, more comfortable in in more um they feel me no they they make me feel maybe they make me feel me okay make me make me make feel. me make me feel more comfortable more more comfortable yes it, yes it's, it's more easy to to talk with with uh people already know with a person or with people because i one i one ah means one so a people you can't say that because people is plural so with a person or with people oh okay it's okay. better to, mm. to interact with people you already know. Say it again, Jackie. Jackie, Jackie. <laughs> oh. Uh, I miss telling you that. <laughs> I can't hear well, teacher. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Say, it. it's better to see people that you already know, who you already know. It's better to see people already know. You already know. Okay. Great. Yes. Probably we can say they are not smart and crazy is a for me it's a person that probably uh, no uh, don't have an, uh, 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 a good conversation don't have a, um, all the time is laughing and all the time is um, spending time doing different 
things and somebody generous is the, probably the people uh, you see the people give an, um, a quarter to the different, they are going to the bus asking something or in the mall or wherever, or uh, you provide to, to that person, or probably you can help to someone. Um, for example, one lady is carrying a big uh, bug or whatever, you can say, oh, may I help you? To carry, uh, probably we can say, ah, that is generous, generous person. Okay. And Another what about question? you, Rocio? Mm -hmm. Rocio, we don't see you. <laughs> Herbert, are you here? <laughs> yeah, Herbert. I'm here, teacher. Was the first, uh, Herbert uh, says the first time the, what okay. he. I'm here, says. teacher. Hi. Okay, <laughs> hello. Uh, hello, teacher. How are you yes. doing? I'm doing all right. What about you? Mm, fine. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. It's nice seeing you. Uh, thank you. All right. What's the question for Rocio Herbert? Read a question, please. So. When you look at someone, what makes you think they are dangerous, greedy, intelligent, kind, not smart, crazy, and generous? Mm. I think that a person is dangerous. I don't know why, but uh, when I, uh, in the way that it's the person look like, uh, Maybe the way that they are waiting. Uh, what? Yes, waiting. Waiting. Ah, wearing. Uh, wearing. 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 Yes, very good. Wearing. Mm -hmm. Wear. Uh, for uh, how do you say sencillez in English? Because of their um. No, try to use another word if you don't know it or look it up. Okay. But let me see. No, because of their humble Sencillo. humbleness. No, humildad sería en vez de sencillez. Ah, humildad. Mm -hmm. Humbleness. Humbleness. Yes. Okay. Can you write it, please? You need to write your vocabulary. Humbleness. How do you write that? Humble. You know how to write humble, humbleness, like this. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Humble H? Yeah, perfect. Humbleness, uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's okay. why. Yeah, if you look for sense, yes, you're going to find another thing, not 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 this. So try to learn it's the very vocabulary. Use. Okay. Mm -hmm. Use that word. Okay. And you, Carlo? Uh, I think... We yeah. express really different because your um, parents uh, decided why you were. Yes, <laughs> but today it's not. <laughs> Nowadays they don't. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're right. It's very different. Now it's yeah. very, very different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Totally different. <laughs> yes. Uh, Patricia. This is the last question, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, do you tell me uh, yesterday that you live in Sayapango, right? Yes, right. Is Patricia here? I think she's not. At the beginning, yes, but I don't know what's happening. Her internet, probably. Friendly and, and um, friendly and the good <laughs> of the woman. 
first first you 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 uh, debes uh, make your life um, not depending for no one not depending on you always say depend on on okay depend on uh -huh, not depending depend on. on anyone anyone okay mm -hmm. thank you yes thank you and excellent advice <laughs> for me <laughs> in this time uh, change the 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 rules for the, the rules? person rules have changed try to always start with the subject in spanish we okay. say cambiaron las reglas ya vino okay. mi mamá but in english you have to say the subject first mi mamá ya vino las reglas cambiaron try to think in that order in english okay it's gonna help okay so we're Thank talking you. about love or what <laughs> what are we talking about about the, the, the when and where we meet most of of friends okay but now it changes the conversation <laughs> <laughs> about other topic <laughs> no problem as long as you practice is jose practicing no maybe it's a uh, mute on he's the on, microphone he's on mute. he oh is gosh, he is on yeah all right go ahead Let's see. okay continue okay Hello, teacher. No Spanish. <laughs> Gabriel. <laughs> Gabriel. Así lo voy a hacer. I, I, can't, I can't speak. <laughs> teacher, question. Uh -huh. You will, you will uh, teach, teach off teach us the next, the next uh, course. I don't think so. <laughs> it, it's weird that I'm teaching you right now because they had already told us that it was only going to be two modules and this is number three so a fourth mm -hmm. one I don't really think so but but maybe uh, again I'm going to ask them if I can stay and you can ask too if you request it they'll listen to you <laughs> you sorry <laughs> no entendió <laughs> Que si ustedes lo solicitan, muy probablemente les van a hacer caso. Eso. Porque okay. las asignaciones no las hacen aún hasta esta semana. Tenemos toda la semana. Pero si ustedes no lo hacen, ya está definido que solo son dos módulos. Por eso me sorprende que esté un tercero con ustedes. Que por mí bien, ustedes saben. Ok. Uh -huh. When we will start the next course? Uh, we're probably going to start it next, not this coming Monday, but next Monday. Okay. I'm not sure though. You need to get confirmation, but most likely next Monday. And if it doesn't happen, it will be the following Monday, but it should be next Monday, not this coming Monday. One week to rest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> One week to practice. To practice, exactly. <laughs> No, and after class, you have to practice as well, because this is not yes. enough. Nothing is enough, actually. <laughs> I everything watch videos in YouTube. But do you repeat? Yeah. Hmm? Do you repeat? I, no, no, I don't repeat. Uh -huh. Only I listen. No, yeah, and but I you want to speak, try right? To, try to learn. That's okay. Try to try to repeat. You don't need to repeat through the entire series or movies. Just 15 minutes. That's it. Okay, do you have questions about the vocabulary or something you discussed? No? No, teacher. No, it's no nice, questions. nice conversation, nice topics to talk. 
Great. That's nice. Hold on, this person is gonna go here. All right, I'm going to assign you to a new group so you can practice some more. This time we are actually gonna talk about changing, uh, about aging, what am I saying now? Aging is getting old, all right? How people age is how they become old. Some people are even scared of aging, especially women, because you know, society pushes that a lot. <laughs> but there i sent you the questions i'm going to send you two images let's discuss all right accept the invitation please and let's practice for the last time there we go hello yeah tell me go ahead uh yes uh for the rest of the class mm -hmm. uh, i'm working in to move a, move a ship. Okay, I understand. So let your classmates know. <laughs> access, yes, access the platform. I'm sorry, access the group and tell them. Tell them that you can't participate, but you're going to be okay. listening. And yeah. mm -hmm, you have a lot of responsibilities, so um, yes. that turns you a lot. I don't know, maybe about, about uh, benefit about what? About getting, getting older. Okay. Something like it's more experience. No, physically. Oh, physically. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh huh. So if you get older, or if you age, you get more experience. That is one of the advantages. That's right. The company said, "I'll live." I mean, I, I'm not that I don't gonna have a needs, you know. But I, I'm thinking in the new generation. I think in the youth people the the new uh, 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 how do you say um, the new professionals that they have to take my my place and, and they continue you know trying to increase the economics in this country so and I said well I don't gonna be wearing the chair wearing the chair all the time and and just do, do not doing high productivity in the company. So, because we have to know that will be a, a time that we have to go to, to the house and rest and try to attend to the... Um, Trying to assist. We have to make to, the, to, the answers a little shorter, Santiago, because we only have... Seven minutes right now. Let's make okay. that shorter, please. Thank you. Uh, yeah, in my, in my case, uh, getting older is benefit because we can see the, the life that other point of view and more independent. Yeah. Um, Something like that. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so, so mm. Okay, next question. <laughs> <laughs>
Do you think humans will ever be able to stop aging? What is the meaning aging? Older. Oh, okay. It means to become old, envejecer. Yeah, it, we're talking about the years you put up. Okay. <clears throat> I think J Lo, it looks like the young girl. Yes, that's right. J Lo is a great example. Maribel <laughs> Guardia, I showed you Maribel Guardia because of that. Yes. <laughs> but J Lo is a better example. Yes. Um, she getting fit, and she, the most important, I think, is she looked like healthy. Yeah, yes. she looks healthy. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think maybe um, some singers like Madonna. I think she yes. she she is sorry. Do you think that human? So we as a human will ever be able. To stop aging so we are going to stop aging and we are going to be younger all the time oh. I don't know maybe in your in your mind <laughs> in, in your dreams <laughs> oh in your dreams <laughs> yes uh, I think <laughs> Okay, next. And one. what do, do you think, or do you, do you receive? Uh, well, I think that the, that the humans can't uh, to resolve the problem with the eyes. Is is um, the eyes is is something to to have in. in uh, it's, it's part of the life. If it's part, it's part of the life. Uh, then, for this reason, um, I, I I think that any maybe, maybe Brad Pitt, <laughs> Angelina Jolie, and Julia Roberts, and that's one of the silly woman. Uh, Julia Roberts. The, the man. Ah, the man. Mm. I forgot. Which I? I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I forgot. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Think I, uh, Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer <laughs> Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm guessing it's not wrong, I'm not sure if it's in the head. Okay, next question. <laughs> yeah. Uh, are older people wiser? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Here we are. Okay, guys. It's our last class. If I don't see you again next module, it was a it was a great pleasure meeting you. All right. I wish you the best. Never stop studying. Use, I'm going to send you all details on the advice I gave you at the beginning of the class so you can use the website, download the apps, all right? I'll do that right after class. Do you have any questions or something? Teacher, it's my pleasure to have a good teacher, a great teacher.
Yeah, it's a honor. Oh, it's a honor. Sorry. <laughs> sorry Your clapping. applause. <laughs> yeah, it's my Thank pleasure you. too. Yeah. A famous awesome. teacher. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. Me too, we'll it's my favorite you. teacher. Thank you, we guys. We can take the last, the last picture. Ah, uh, yeah, we could take, hold on. I don't look good today. Hold on, wait. But we need to see all the faces. Turn the camera. Yeah. We'll, okay. we'll, we'll follow. I, I don't take a bath uh, for this. Let's take a last picture. Yeah, we, we'll follow you in the YouTube. We'll follow you in, in YouTube. Oh, yeah, thank Always. You. Or Facebook. It's okay. Either Facebook, or. yeah. Yeah. I will remember. A lot of people are messaging me. Teacher, do you remember me? And I'm like, yes, of course I remember you. They <laughs> think I don't remember them anymore, but yeah, I do. <laughs> okay, let's take a picture. Okay. Jose, Juan. Bye bye, teacher. Ricardo. Nice Miguel. to meet you. Otto has to leave. Miguel, bye. Carlo. Jacqueline. Bye, bye Otto. Okay, so somebody take the screenshot. I will try. I will take one. Hold on. Say cheese. Cheese. Wait. All right. One. Where is it? There. One, two, three. There it is. I have one. You can take some, guys. Another one. Gabriel, or somebody take screenshot, please. Please, please. All right, <laughs> Otto got in the picture. Great. <laughs> okay, I hope to see you next module. Yes, I will send this to WhatsApp. Don't worry. I'm gonna see and ask if I can be with you for the next module because it was really fun and it's awesome having a lot of you in class. I like that. That means you're taking advantage of this opportunity, so that's awesome. Let me ask. Okay, we can we can ask again. Maybe we can get a fourth round, the fourth one. <laughs> Okay, question. No question. Okay. Teacher, when we will start in the next month? Uh, you will be notified through WhatsApp. I would say most likely if everything goes right. Uh -huh, not next Monday, but the following one. So in like a week and a half. Hopefully. Oh, okay. Thank you, teacher. And it's a pleasure. Yep, my pleasure too. You're awesome. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Thank you for, for all, teacher. <laughs> yeah, thank you right. very much. Uh, God bless you there in Argentina. And, and God uh, supply you all your dreams. All your dreams. Thank you, Santiago. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you for the great wishes, guys. Thank um, you. I'll see you later. See you around. Thank you, Facebook teacher. Or thank, YouTube you. Somewhere. thank you, teacher. Right. Thank you, teacher. Take care. Bye-bye, everybody. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, teacher. Good night, friends.